Welcome back to another reaction video. Today, we're watching Guava Juice, a guide to losing your entire audience. From our favorite YouTuber, Sunny V2. A lot of people recommended that I watch this. Also, it's awesome that uh, Sunny just keeps posting. Doesn't give a shit about any sort of drama. Takes it on the chin, keeps on rolling. Those are the makings of a good quality YouTuber. <laughs> Guava Juice's former 200 Juice million view form. months have declined by over 90%, Damn. with many of these recent views coming from shorts, as his long form Only 20 content million gains views? roughly 100,000 views Oh wow, that video. is terrible. What on earth happened? Let's travel back to he his just absolute makes terrible peak. videos. January 2017, 249 Holy crap. million views. Why was he so successful at this point in time? By That's then, Guava Juice had already been on YouTube for Guava over Jubes. 11 years, during which it became apparent that he was incredibly talented at latching on to trends and had I've built never... an intuition for what was popular on YouTube at any one time. You just look at children's channels. That's how you figure out what's popular on YouTube or your Mr. Beast. For example, his 2007 music video parodies were similar to what Smosh had become successful with. And by 2016, he was still competing with other top tier gaming YouTubers mm. like Thanos. He was a gamer? However, explosive growth usually comes from pioneering a brand new or underperforming genre as right. Guava Juice would come to discover in mid 2016 after uploading a video simply full of titled Orbeez. Orbeez Bath Challenge. Yeah, the bathtub thing. Quibble Cop used to do that. Uh, uh, Azzyland used to do that, Sniper Wolf, all the, like, all the just baby channels, right? All the, just the baby channels. However, it still had clicking many on the different thumbnail. elements of relatability, Looks leading fun. the video towards success. For example, anybody could access Orbeez. Most people right. have a bathtub Most in children. their house. So it therefore poses this of question kids. of, well, what would be the outcome of this experiment if you did it for yourself? This made the video extremely enticing to click on. And yeah. once watching, Guava Juice then validated the audience by providing the exact oh, outcome cool. that everybody had clicked on the video for. A bathtub filled to the brim I mean, that's with basis, Orbeez, that's which went Combined with a cameo from Spider-Man. That is a massive red flag for one, the whole Elsa thing, Spider-Man Elsa. This guy's making content for babies, guys. This is a DOD experiment. The reason that Guava Juice is no longer getting views is because Guava Juice is no longer getting funding from the United States government to bleach and clean wool. Each of Guava's Guava bathtub video. uploads Guava. followed this similar Love premise the bathtub of what uploads. would happen if you did this in your own house. What would happen if you just were really destructive? Curiosity. His Ooblek wow. bath challenge even provided Ooblek. a guide for how to make the liquid oh, and it posed cool. the question of, well, is he going to get stuck when Ooblek. it finally dries at the end of the video? Ooblek. His Lego Ooblek. bath challenge posed the question of, will he get hurt? While his yeah, Diet Coke and Mentos bath challenge implied that the Coke might fit is everywhere. Each episode right. was only That's three so or four funny. minutes long, so why not click and see the potential outcome? The true, true. And then guess what? I didn't click a single time now because I feel like that's for children. It's why he lost the audience because he hit like a trend of children and then those kids are no longer children and then you lose the audience. The short Just nature of the videos also meant that they exist. didn't waste the audience's you will lose time them. and were optimized for watch time percentage. And while this goes against the classic trope of longer videos equals right. more watch time equals better performance, this has been disproven by people like David Dobrik, who have shown right. that 10 four minute videos can be better for retention in comparison to one 40 minute video in its full entirety. I mean, that guy started Regardless, a new, a whole Juice's new genre video. Guava Juice's videos were doing so well video, that though, even the blog, his water bath challenge cracked 5 million views. Water. Out of all the bath challenges I've done, I'm I'm surprised I never tried water. What? What? Five million views on a video of him in the bath and he's not even sexy? However, Guava's explosion was yes. also assisted by timing, as viral videos required significantly oh, yes. less time and effort that looks back good. in 2000. See, I might watch that slime bath challenge, but you replace that with a woman, I'd definitely watch it. If it's a fella, I might watch it, but if it's a girl, I'd definitely watch it. Why? I love objectifying women. No, no, I'm just kidding. I love, uh, I, I like, uh, I like, well, yeah, seems like it. Sorry. Take, for example, this video titled Do Not Jump on the Trampoline Ball Pit at 3 a.m., in which the time is shown at the start of the video 3.06, as well as at the end of the video 3.29, okay. meaning this entire episode took only 23 minutes to film. There were basically hmm. no props, no script, and the whole thing was shot in one take, meaning the video took only a couple of hours to complete after editing, and it's now received over 20, 20 million, million views. views dude. To achieve to, that same kind of performance on angry. any long-form video today requires at least angry. one week's work, as well as maybe a team, maybe a budget, and even yeah. then pulling anything close to that number that requires absurd. a perfect storm. I have a, my balls hurt right now. I've got sperm cramps. I've got sperm cramps. This guava juice story is giving me sperm cramps, guys. You ever get sperm cramps? 
Guava Juice kept up with every trend from Fortnite to TikTok wow. reactions until that. he'd dip his feet into a brand new video type Dude's that would genius. take his channel to a whole new level, his 10 Things Mr. You Shouldn't Beast. Do series. In the beginning, it wasn't even supposed to be a Mr. series. Beast. However, after 10 Things You Shouldn't Do in an airplane oh, game wow. review count in the millions, Guava Juice doubled down with 10 Things You Shouldn't Do in oh, the movie theater, wow. 10 Things You Shouldn't Do at school, and 10 Things You That's Shouldn't smart. Do on a train. 10 Things You Shouldn't Yell in a crowded movie theater. 10 things you shouldn't bring into a government building. 10 things you shouldn't Google search. How do you do that? Do not Google. They usually had multiple people per That's skit nice. as well as a full set for every video. Yeah, the old which skits were, I've seen some unique, of those. Especially when combined with Guava Juice's absolutely insane style of comedy. Don't be a food inspector. Hello, my friend. How may I help you today? Hello, I'm the food inspector. Uh, could I have one of each food, please? Yeah. <laughs> Sure thing. Follow me. I love inspecting food. Right this way, Mr. Food Inspector. You see, all the food should be right over there. What is this? You should have left Woody on the chance! Master! Are you here to save me? Now stay here for the rest of your life! Ah! Dad? Daddy? Is that you? It's me, your son. Not exactly uh, cerebral writing. Um... I have to say, but I could see how some people, but that, that was for children, right? 2020, often gaining well over 10 million views. However, yeah. in April 2021, seemingly overnight, something began to change on the Guava Juice he looks channel. Tired. He went from gaining over 100,000 subscribers every single month to almost complete stagnation, while his videos were suddenly struggling to achieve more than a million views. Why the sudden drop? Huh. The decline seemed to begin with a video by Danny Gonzalez, posted only two weeks prior, oh. titled Guava Juice is Out of Control, I think this is when in I made which Danny would critique the absolutely insane nature of every Guava Juice video in a fun and entertaining way. It's just so hard to follow. It's like, is this even a story? Is there a plot to this? They're just like doing random things and crazy things are happening. He can't really subvert our expectations anymore because our expectation is just that something random is going to happen at all times. The video received yeah. over 2 million views in less than a week. True. While it acted as somewhat of a compliment, since Guava Juice was trying to make insane content, Danny's video would also act as a catalyst for the short-term retirement of the series. After uploading an episode on the 3rd of April, Guava Juice didn't post a 10 Things You Shouldn't Do episode until almost three months later on the 27th of June, after which it became obvious that the quality of the series had dropped off significantly. For example, Guava Juice's 10 Things You Shouldn't Do at Disneyland felt like it had been thrown together with no prior planning. There was no set that there were no characters and the jokes felt random, but in a way that was more like, what the hell even is this anymore? Don't yeah, that's what it seems burns. like. It seems like for children. It seems like it's just made. It seems like DOD stuff, stuff, genuinely. Like AI generated pre AI. During the, the series, Guava Juice had instead been uploading increasingly lazy content, such as Guava Juice ranks Guava Juice videos, as well That's as old fun. repackaged compilations, such as Best ah. of Guava Juice 24 Hour. Dude, I bet he made a band on that video. 24 hours of just videos, crying, laughing emoji. He's probably got so much money, he just doesn't care anymore. What do you guys think? I feel like at, the, at a certain point, I'm going to have that, you know, hopefully, eventually. If the tax man doesn't get me, he will. He'll get me. He'll get me for sure. I'm going to jail soon. Both of which suddenly implied stream. the glory days of the channel were coming to an end, the as was also days. indicated by the thumbnails. The During thumbnails. his peak, the thumbnails felt clean, straightforward, and were on par with YouTube's meta at they the were time. Good. And while some of his 2021 thumbnails were definitely on the cutting edge, that looks really there were good. others that felt crowded, dated, or just... Oh yeah, that looks terrible. The channel seemed to have been struggling from a lack of effort and innovation. However, there drink. was actually a good reason for this. In December 2021, Guava Juice and announced that he'd instead been spending oh, his time on a kid's TV series called The Guava Juice Show, well, which that's was about cool. to release its very first episode on YouTube Originals. That's pretty cool. The first five episodes Only performed reasonably well, yeah. averaging around 3 million views each. Oh, However, for nice. whatever reason, the sixth episode gained only 150,000 oh. views, with almost every episode afterwards following a similar trend. Oh, YouTube probably stopped promoting it. After which he'd upload a new video titled The End, in which Guava Juice was unusually upset, possibly as a partial result of the show's poor performance. I wasn't been doing that doing bad. Guava Juice for so long. It's, uh, I've missed my daughter's birthdays. Oh, wow. Friends' weddings. Honestly, that makes sense. The type of content he's making, it seems like a guy would make that would miss that stuff as well. Like, you, you miss your friends' weddings? I mean, I've done that before, to be fair. And I did that out of crippling anxiety and, and uh, yeah, anyways. What a crazy world we live in. Seems like a nice guy, but 
I don't know. Guava Juice didn't specify why he was feeling so down. However, he wasn't ready to give up just yet, as he then released a second season of the show, which once again okay. performed to a mediocre standard. That At sucks. a couple hundred thousand views per Probably episode, Guava might as well have just continued produce. making standard videos, and this wasn't even the Maybe worst part. Whilst producing it, the show's 26 episodes, Guava Juice lost touch with the one skill that had always guaranteed success, an really ability good. to keep up with trends and the current YouTube meta. He probably just doesn't care care anymore or he's focused on shorts or his audience is just older like i originally said that's that's what it seems like people just lose interest if you don't change he's just doing the same stuff people just lose interest there's new people there's new sound there's new light there's new colors uh like right now we've got one two buckle my shoe we got that guy now all right Guava Juice, you suck. We got that guy now. Guava Juice also had to worry about YouTube shorts, his in-store products, as well as a bloody oh, wow. NFT project, which right. has to be one of the dumbest things you can launch as a creator because it's yeah, so true. obvious that you're just trying to siphon some quick cash from the audience. Yeah, Guava absolutely. Juice's new low was established in a recent video so titled funny. My Future, in which he speaks as My though his future. career is pretty much over. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I am very honored to be a part of your childhood. His former excitement has transformed into it. boredom and complete okay. apathy, as was highlighted during one of the video's announcements. With growing in mind, um, I just wanna let you know for this channel, moving forward, I'm going back to my old roots, which is gaming. 2016, I made the channel because I wanted That's to nice. create a gaming channel. While Guava Juice gives off the vibe that he wants the videos to return to their former glory, it game. also seems like he's lacking the motivation and clear vision to get them there. And as a result, he's Maybe trying he almost care. anything, including sympathy from the audience, to achieve an increase in viewership. However, this has only like had the opposite care. effect, as most of his gaming videos struggle to achieve oh. 100,000 views. Guava Juice has made it way too obvious that he doesn't have an gaming interest in producing the content, and this lack of commitment shows in each and every upload. The videos just feel a bit generic and aimless. A great YouTube video should be fresh and energizing, something that makes you want to click just like the bathtub videos did True. during the channel's heyday. This is good it's advice. clear that Guava Juice is slowly rebuilding his intuition for what makes a great video, he's yet to return his skills back to a competitive level. I don't think he ever will because I feel like he's just done. He's, he has he has products in stores. He doesn't care. He's rich as fuck. And this isn't like the type of creating that makes one full, feel fulfilled. Gaming videos don't make one feel fulfilled. Let's be real. Or they don't make me feel fulfilled. I did them for a long time. I felt horribly unfulfilled. So then I started looking at memes. Much easier. Much, much, much easier. Still no fulfillment, but much easier. Now I'm doing this. No fulfillment and also more difficult, but also shit.